Hi guys and very warm welcome to the third years for what are we dealing with week seven now I think um, of our Dark Continent Fascism in Europe module. Uh, you'll notice my hands are empty this week. We are not doing a card pull. Um, and that's very much reflecting the subject matter that we're doing because we are engaging with the Holocaust narrative uh, this week. Um, I'm presuming a few things uh, on your behalf. I'm presuming a familiarity with uh, the Holocaust in a wider European context, um, and especially so in a Germanic context. Um, what I like to do in this session is shift focus uh, back to our studies in Italy. Um, and think about how uh, an anti-Semitic narrative and uh, sort of an acceptance of a Holocaust narrative uh, comes to the fore um, in that context. Um, we've already touched a little bit on the way in which many of the most prominent early fascists um, in an Italian context were themselves Jewish. Um, so the move to extreme anti-Semitism culturally doesn't make a huge amount of sense uh, in the context of what's happening in Italy. Always remember, uh, Sarfati, one of Mussolini's uh, most consistent lovers, was a Jewish woman herself. Um, so there are all sorts of inconsistencies here. Um, so we'll, we'll be looking to chart the trajectory towards anti-Semitism becoming a norm in Italian society. We'll also think about some of the ways in which people in Italy were being conditioned to accept that narrative, because again, it was something that was um, culturally uh, unfamiliar um, in an Italian context. We'll also touch on the global response to the Holocaust, because it's often um, more comfortable uh, for us, and by us I mean sort of uh, people who are within the Allied nations um, in the context of reflecting back on the World War uh, period, um, more comfortable for us to reflect on what nations like Germany did or what Italy did or how complicit France was under the Vichy period and something that we'll look at in more detail in this module. Um, what is less comfortable is thinking about things like the British and the American and the Canadian response to Jewish refugees. Now, of course, these nations take in some people, but the potential was there for them to take in far greater numbers, and yet they refused. And that's an interesting theme to explore as well, because there was a heck of a lot of internal politics at play, which made the idea of in allowing large numbers of Jewish people into these respective states, something that was uncomfortable. Um, you know, in Canada, you arguably have a foreign minister who, for all practical purposes, was a fascist in terms of his personal politics at that point in time. Um, so it's interesting charting the global response um, to the growing crisis in relation to uh, Jewish migrants and what was in the background um, and what would become apparent to everyone in time, the Holocaust itself. So those are our themes for this week. Um, I will endeavour to give you third years um, a a bonus card pull uh, this time next week. I, I hope you'll appreciate why we're not doing one today. Um, it's, of course, a difficult narrative, um, so be prepared for some uh, uncomfortable stories and some quite um, emotional stories uh, as well as we go through, uh, in particular, um, how many uh, Italian Jewish people responded um, to uh, the change in um, ideology uh, and legislation that we see play out in this period. And one of the most striking things uh, that you'll see is the way in which how many Italian Jews who were members of the fascist party, despite the introduction of harsh legislation against them, still remained loyal to fascism and Mussolini as well. Um, it really highlights the potency um, of the fascist propaganda machine um, in indoctrinating people to, to stay loyal even when loyalty is about to cost them their lives. Um, so it should be an interesting session, a difficult session. Hope you enjoy it. We'll be posting this video at some stage on Monday. So I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Um, and yeah, look forward to exploring these themes with you then. Okay, until next time, cheerio.